look after my brows, dye my brows and just basically get them from 0 to 100. I have been on the biggest brow journey ever. When I first started doing YouTube my brows were very very thin and they had hardly any tail or arch to them and I used to really box them in the front of my brows and just make them really drawn on and caked. <laughs> so my brows have been on a journey. So I have now learned how to do my brows in the way that I like. And every person has their own way of doing their brows and what they prefer and their own method. And this is just the method that I personally love to do. So just take it with a pinch of salt and you can always add alterations to this to fit your own needs. So these are my natural brows as they are. They're very, very thin, um, especially on the tail end, but I'm trying to grow them out as much as I can. But I do pluck the odd hair here and there that comes quite low down onto the like brow bone area because I do have a lot of shimmery products there and I don't want hairs there because it just doesn't look nice in my opinion so I try and pluck the odd stray hair. Now a lot of people um, like to go wax at their brows, I don't. I've always done my own brows at home, it's just a method that I prefer to do. Some of you might have heard of this method before and some of you might not have heard of it but I like doing soap brows. This is such an easy and cool little trick to do your brows. If you have thin brows like me from making them very thin to a lot fuller looking. Um, I do prefer this method. Basically what soap brows is, is you get your little brow brush wet. I like to use a setting spray or some sort of mist. I like to use this one from Primark Beauty which is just the hydrating mist. But any sort of setting spray or mist will work. You just want to spray the soap with a couple pumps of your spray and then get your little spoolie onto the soap and just kind of lather it up a little bit and get some product onto the spoolie. And then I like to brush up the hairs so that they're facing upwards and then kind of make them appear fuller, if that makes sense. I will show you all of that today, but that's what I like to do with my soap brows. They harden and they do stay in place and they stay in all day. With soap brows, I have done before foundation, after foundation, and I prefer this method before foundation. I tried applying foundation first and then doing the soap brows, and I kind of remove all the foundation that's on the top because you are kind of doubling them up in length. So the foundation you would have up here, you will now get rub off if that makes sense. Then you have to go in and repatch it all. So I prefer to do this first and then work around them. And then I'm going to be showing you today how I dye my brows because I haven't done mine in a couple of months and I think it's time to do it again. This is the Eyelore Dye Brow Dye Kit and I got mine in black just because my brows are dark anyway. And I feel like brown could look a bit ashy on me sometimes. So I'm just going to go for a regular black. This whole kit is up to 12 applications, so again, it's a really, really good kit. I do recommend this one. I will link everything down below if you're interested. The soap I like to use for the actual brow soaps is the Pears. It's just my favourite. It's transparent, so you don't see like a white cast or anything like that. I prefer this one. So you get the actual peroxide, the developer, and a little spoolie. This little tray here with the centre, that's where you mix the dye. So I take the little spoolie and I just kind of brush them up. I'm going to brush them upwards and then I'm going to take some tiny little scissors and just start trimming the edges just a little bit again brush them up and once you are happy with the length Top. I then like to brush them down again, brush them down and then trim them in place. Then brush them up again. Then I like to take some tweezers and just pluck any little strays that we have underneath. I also like to go in the front of the brow and just pluck little hairs here 
any little strays that we have. I like to just straighten the front here so that it goes down at line. So I'm going to leave my right brow as it is and then just do my left brow so that you can see a slight difference. I can already tell the difference myself but that's just because I know my own eyebrows and I can see a difference hugely. So I'm taking the cream and I'm going to pierce the top of it here like so. We put about a centimetre of dye in there. And then I like to take the actual activator and put about three, four drops. Then I like to mix that together. Mix that together until it creates a paste. So once I have the little paste in the tray, I just take an eyebrow brush. Again, take the spoolie and just brush your eyebrows into place. Then taking the brush I don't mind using, I want to just kind of paint this on as if I was doing my eyebrows anyway and coat them in that dye. So this is what it should look like once you've applied it to the brow. So as you can see from one eyebrow to the other, it does make a huge difference. Now I'm gonna leave this on for about four to five minutes just for the dye to develop and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe to do it so it's quick and easy. I'm gonna take the baby wipe, wrap it around my finger and then just gently wipe away. As you can see that's wiped away I'm just going to brush them up and as you can tell from the opposite brow the difference it makes is huge it's such a difference isn't it it's like a big fuller brow versus a thin like translucent nothing brow <laughs> I like to call this my tadpole brow versus a thicker fuller brow and then while I'm at this stage now is the time I go in with my soap brow so I take my little soap the reason why I love pear soap is because it is translucent it's that translucency that really helps so that you don't get that awful white cast it just looks beautiful I like to put it in a little tray like this and then I take my setting spray or any sort of spray you have I'm just using the hydrating mist and I'm going to spray the soap a couple times and then take in the spoolie and run that along. And then just use this to brush them into place. Pulling them up really helps double them in size. So I like to flatten them. Up and out. Like so, and then I take them and then pull them round. To help create that arch. You could even call this the laminated brow because it has that same effect where it's like flattened and made wider, if that makes sense. That's how it is. So I prefer that, as you can tell from the first to the second. Again, a huge difference. And then you just gonna wait about a minute or two and that will dry down matte. I'm gonna wipe away the spoolie. It will be good all day. It's not gonna budge, it's gonna stay in place and then you can do your makeup around the brow. So that is how I prefer to do my eyebrows. I really do love this method. So now I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eyebrow and then I'll be straight back. So I'm back and this is my finished result for my eyebrow method. I am so happy with the results and more natural looking. I really just love the appearance of the brows now. It's amazing what you can achieve just by doing a few little steps. I really hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, please give a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to be notified of all my future videos. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.